Hello, welcome back to Georgie B and stuff, card and stuff. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. But first of all, I actually got my order. I got it on the 12th. Today's the 14th, so I got it on Thursday of February. Yes, 14th of February. Valentine's Day today. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day, so, um, yeah, forget all that. I made this card before my order comes, so obviously it's an old set. And this is So Much Love. And I've used that flower. I've also used Textured Essentials for the background of the Club Cake card. And I used that one, just that one. I also use the dots out of So Much Love on this background. And for the sentiment, I just use varied vases and birthday wishes. So there's the stamp section I'm using. Card stop. I have got white blank at eight and a quarter by five and seven eight, scored at four and one eighth. Um, two pieces of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for the inside and one for the outside and i have got three bits that i've cut out already from the stitch so sweetly dies so that one's come from the largest one and this one has come from this one two three third largest from small to large oh it's going to be the third one anyway no it's the fourth but yeah so that one and this one has come out of ooh, where did I get this one from I don't know where I got this one from. This might have been one of my own, unless it's out of a... They haven't got dies. Um... I don't know where I got this from. I'll have to think and let you know. Yes, I can't remember where I got that one from. But I'll let you know where I got it from. So they will go on there behind the rows. So, and you also need a scrap of white, which I haven't got. Um, I'll just take one of these. And this is to stamp our rows on. So I've got my memento black and my rose. Just going to ink that up. So much rattling. That's not my light. Must be just the camera. And we're just going to stamp that down there. nice right. with that and we want my cloth got some new um oh god I've even forgot the name of this cloth now absorber cloths in my birthday box which I've cut up and I think I've got about 12 bits of this like this size and they will last a while so lay that down there and I just stick my stamps on top of it right we'll leave that to dry before we colour it in 
and we will stamp these two but I need a scrap of paper right and these I'm just doing crumb cake on crumb cake just to give it a bit of texture and I've got this stamp from textured essentials and I just stamp it one way turn this round and stamp it again that's all I do on that one gives me a bit of texture on there and then with the spots I just went all over it with the spots like that that was all I done Right, now then with the sentiment, and I haven't brought my other rink, let me get my other rink. I got it out and put it on the side and didn't bring it to the table. We're going to put birthday wishes on this and we're going to put it to the left, right, right of the Oh, that's old olive, by the way. Right, that's all our little bit stamped. Put them to one side, get rid of this, don't need this, and bring this back in. Right, I'm going to colour this in. I'm changing the colours, I'm going to colour the flower in Calypso Coral. But first we'll do the leaves. So I've got some old olive here. And all I'm going to do with that is just go round the base just where the leaves are under the flower. Just like that. And then with dark granny apple green, I'm going to in the leaves, blending that old olive in. All it's doing is creating a shadow under the on the leaf from the flower. I believe it took so long for my order to come. Johnny never even rang the bell, the delivery bloke. My husband went out to start the car and he found it on the doorstep. I'll be glad when this lockdown finishes. Not oh, lockdown, shielding for me. 
get my letters from the government to say I'm a shield. I've been out once since Christmas Day and that was to get my injection. Right, let's do the dark clips of coral first. So with this we're going to colour in all the folded bits. You can see where the petals have folded over. And then we're going to go around the edge of any petal that's overlapping a petal underneath. be able to see where a petal sits on top of another one. And then with the light petal pink, we're going to colour everything in, including these little buds. I haven't used Calypso Coral for a while. Just colouring, blending in the old olive. I'm just going around in circular motions. Trying to colour, blend in the with the brush on this is gone. Leaving the piece in the middle. There we are. And then with Daffodil to Light, we're just going to add a yellow centre. That's our flower. I think it looks pretty. All we've got to do is cut it out. 
which doesn't take long. I'm not going all the way down, I just go down a little bit and cut around the buds. Concentrating here. to cut this out on camera when you're just cutting it out for the sake of cutting it out I seem to whisk around it needs um, dimensionals. I'm running short on my dimensionals so I'll need to get another pack out. all these little bits up. I need a tiny bit. No. 
to support the buds. Right, let's bring our car base in. Let's go that. And oh, somebody asked me in the comment comments. What glue I use? I actually use Cosmic Shimmer, which I then decanter into these little bottles, which I got from Amazon. I think I've got 10 bottles in a pack, which I shared with my sister and some ladies. Yeah, I just a cancer them in. Um, and my cosmic shimmer, I bought five. Let me go and get a bottle. Those were cosmic shimmer I use. I bought five of these in October 2019, so not last year, year before, at Craft Fair in Peterborough. Crate and Craft it was run by. Um, and I ended up, well, I actually bought four, and Gainer sent me a bottle, Gainer Voice. And so I ended up with five, and I have got two left. So over a year and November, December, January, four months. I've only used three bottles of this Cosmic Shimmer because I decanter it in these little bottles that I got from Amazon. Because you don't use as much when you use these little ones. Well, I find that anyway. So yes, so that's what glue I use. Cosmic Shimmer. Special high specialized acrylic glue. Cosmic acrylic glue, that's what it's called. And it works really well. And I don't use loads of it. Right, this one goes down there and it glues they all glue flat. The only thing that isn't flat is the flower. This goes in the middle. Then this one. Goes across like that there. Oh, that had dimensionals on it. goes to the edge of the card like that so like that and then we'll take all these bits off this flower
trouble with putting so many bits on. Switch forever, take back and off. Right, and then this goes on. Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Right. These bits I put on these roses can come off. I'm going to glue these. Put a bit of glue on. There we are, like that. Now then, I have got some gems. Oh, these are from Correct and Crop. These are what I got out of my friend's stash when she passed, and her husband gave me her craft room. In fact, our anniversary is coming up next year. So, I am going to put the brown ones. These small ones on here, I'm going to put one there, one there, and one down there. And that is my card for today. Oh, I never put the inside in. What did I do in there? Oh, I just stamped my own individual stamp in there. Let's do that. Um, this ink. And then we'll just pop that on the inside. Wishing you the most beautiful day. There you are. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified, should be notified, by YouTube um, that a new video has been uploaded. They usually get uploaded on a Monday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.